Hey guys, my name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV, and today we're going to take a look at a brake barrel air gun that basically throws brake barrel air gun physics right out the window. We'll be right back. All right, so the gun I have here, guys, this is the Octane Elite. And as we call these episodes, Airgun Web TV Shorts, because we're gonna give you a short overview of this gun, talk a little bit about performance, how it operates, and we're gonna shoot some uh, accuracy here in the front yard. We're in the not so easy up in beautiful Arizona. This is the time of year where weather starts to get really nice. It starts to cool off and it becomes really fun to get out here and start testing air guns again. So what have they done with this gun? I've had an Octane for a while. This is the Elite, and you can see immediately that they've changed the stock. Uh, it's got a nice palm swell here. They've also changed the stock back here, give you a nice cheek rise uh, back here, just like that. Gives you something to get a good cheek weld to. The other stock was a little bit thinner, the original uh, Octane. Uh, ambidextrous, so righties or lefties, you're good to go. The big difference, however, with the Octane Elite is the introduction of the stop shocks. And this is why I say this brake barrel sort of throws brake barrel physics out the window. Let me try and explain. So when you want more power in a spring gun, whether it's a gas ram spring, uh, air spring, whatever you want to call it, or a metal spring, you need, you just need more tension. That means more recoil, more cocking force. And that means it's generally more difficult to shoot with consistent accuracy. So what they've done with this gun is they've taken the action and they've floated it in the stock. So it actually, it actually moves around with recoil. So the gun recoils back. And then as the piston comes forward, it actually absorbs that forward recoil as well. What this means is that it really makes this shoot more like your traditional firearm than a Magnum Springer. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I've, uh, got a whole bunch of pellets here as you see on the table. When I come out here to do testing, I grab my ammo can and all of this is in there. Uh, I started out with this with the RWS Super Domes because in the Octane, they shot great. They shoot great in this too. Now the pellets I really like for this gun are the Super H points. Here they are right here. These guys, 14.2 grain, producing just under 25 foot pounds with these pellets. Go ahead and load it up. Now, most of the time with a big Magnum Springer, you're gonna be really gentle how you hold it. You're gonna float it, you're not gonna grip it. With this gun, again, you, you're gonna fire it more like you would a traditional firearm. So I'm gonna pull it tight into the shoulder. Automatic safety, or release the safety there. Kind of grip it firmly, right to the bullseye. This is what makes this gun special and why for you hunters out there, that have been looking for a Magnum Springer that you can shoot with repeatable accuracy, this gun is right up your alley. It does take some strength to cock. It's not super, super heavy like some Magnum Springers because it's got a good long barrel and the muzzle brake on the end, which is an integrated suppressor, uh, definitely helps give you that leverage you need to cock the gun. Ah. You still are going to have to work on trigger control with this gun. Now I've adjusted the trigger and I've made it a little bit easier to pull. Okay, really, you're adjusting the stage. It just, I think the pull weight's about the same, but you're able to adjust the second stage a little bit so it's not quite as long. Safety. Okay. All right, so I trailed off a little bit. I'm gonna go grab that card, and then uh, we're actually gonna set up and I'll shoot some shots on camera. Be right back. All right, so this is what I got with that quick five shot group. Not terrible, a little bit bigger than a quarter. I'm shooting at 21 yards. Um, that is a dead rabbit, squirrel, possum, whatever. Now, I know I can do better than that because I have done better than that, so we're gonna shoot another group here. 
right. There are some guns I've taken out of the box and I've spent days setting them up, trying to figure out how to get them to shoot straight. Um, that is not the case with this. I just pulled it out, threw the scope on it, tried a couple pellets, and uh, I'm able to put targets or put pellets right on target, which is, I'm betting from you guys out there, it's exactly what you want. Who wants a project gun? You want to be able to take it out and shoot it. Here we go. All right, so we're back here at the table, and here's what I got on that last group. Five shots, definitely smaller than a quarter. If you do your part, you know, take your time, practice really good trigger management, you're gonna get this or better every time you pull the trigger. Again, I'm shooting the RWS Super H points. They're a nice, very fast moving hollow point. I've had a lot of really good success with those. This is a really great Magnum hunting rifle and it's one that you, you know, if you don't want to have to deal with that learning curve that you traditionally have to deal with, with a Magnum Springer or a Magnum gas ram driven gun, this is, this is the guy to look for. Comes with the stop shock system, as you can see. The action floats into the stock. This helps you deal with that recoil that you get out of these guns. Comes with a suppressor. It's gas ram driven. Comes with a decent scope, three to nine by 40, with an adjustable objective. I'm able to use the full range of the magnification uh, down to 10 yards. So. Just a great package, price points around that $200 price point, depending you know, where you get it, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but a great, great value. Again, 25 foot pounds, suitable to you know, rabbit, squirrel, jackrabbit, possum, raccoon. This does a lot uh, for a little, and it doesn't require a lot from you, the shooter. Just take it out of the box, put it together, and start uh, sending lead down range and getting accuracy like this. I guess that's gonna go ahead and wrap this up. My name is Rick Utzler here with Ergon Web and Ergon Web TV. This has been an Ergon Web TV short brought to you by Umarex USA. Thanks for watching.